I'm Kelly. A lot of you guys requested that I do another English vlog, so here it is. Today I have a really busy schedule because I'm moving out of this apartment soon, so I need to look for a new apartment. And I scheduled like four or five apartment tours today, so it's gonna be really packed, really busy, and I'll take you guys with me. Let's go. There's a shopping mall right next to this apartment, so that's really nice, but there is construction right there so i don't know if that's gonna be loud it's probably gonna be a little bit annoying um but yeah i feel like if the weather is nicer it's probably gonna be a lot prettier here so this is the apartment it is on first floor so here it's like a kitchen without an island i would really like it if it has an island and here is the bathroom the bathroom is connected to the bedroom oh okay um it has a bathtub it has a really big living room and here's the bedroom which is relatively small and i believe there's like a balcony or a private walkway up to this building so yeah here there's like stairs up to this unit and a balcony space that I can use for anything. Um, this is really convenient for like walking dogs. I feel like although this is really spacious, um, first thing is I don't really like living on first floor because of privacy reasons. I don't like people passing by to see what I'm doing. Also, I expected this building to be a little bit um, newer and nicer than this because like the rent price is really high so i thought this is like a really luxurious building but it looks like just okay i will say i'm a little bit disappointed i thought it will be like better than this let's head to the other one second try for this 314 oh okay guys i'm struggling to pull the key out i really don't like this lock I'm getting a really bad impression of this building now. Why does it... Okay, anyways, this is the unit. The living room is more like a triangle shaped and here is like the pool view, although the window is not really big. And there are lots of storage cabinets here. And let's look at the bedroom. This is also not square shaped. And here is the closet. Oh, it's pretty big. This is the bathroom. It's not directly connected, but close enough. But for this one, I feel like in general, I don't really like um, apartments that are not square shaped makes me feel a little weird and usually like the prices are lower if it's like a triangle shaped um, apartment because people generally don't like that um, but for this one it's still like 3700 like this one I feel like it should be like maybe 3500 that's like more reasonable to me I don't really like either of these apartments they're not really speaking to me So I'm at the pool area. It looks pretty nice. There's a pool, there's a hot tub, and there's like a barbecue station. So it looks nice, although <laughs> I don't really use the pool, so it doesn't really matter to me. Headed to the second building. So the interior looks really different for this building. Looks a lot younger and lighter and everything. I'm only gonna look at the public areas here. Here's the barbecue area. Oh, there's a hot tub here. I think this is it for this building. It's a lot smaller, but I like the interior design better. This is the third community. There is like a barbecue place. 
And again, the first floor people get their own space. Here's a dog over there. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so I guess we are on this side, like the fire pit barbecue, and the pool is on the other side. I couldn't find a way to get in to the pool area, but it's fine. We've seen enough pools. Let's just head back. I arrived at another apartment now, waiting for an agent. So this is a one bed. Oh, oh the view is really nice. Windows are really big. Okay. Here's a patio, although it's pretty small. And here's a walk-in closet. It's nice that they already have all these storage units. What is this? More storage. Oh, the bathroom is really big. This one doesn't have a tub. Wow. Oh, and the gym is right here. It's really nice. Oh, there's a spa. Wow. And this is the yoga. This is the barbecue grill area. Oh, there's also a club room. Mm. So this one is preservable, but first come, mm -hmm. first serve for yeah. these little fireplace. Yeah. Oh, it's cute. Mm -hmm. You want to put up oh. and give yourself a pizza dough? Uh-huh. Oh, wow. You can come and put pizza in the oven. Uh-huh. That's really cute. finished touring this one. This building is a lot nicer than the previous one and the amenities are really beautiful. I really like the design and they're all like really big so I really like this building. I'll probably consider it. I'm doing a self-guided tour again so wish me luck. I see a fitness center right here so this should be the gym. Here we are. Oh, how do I get in? I confirmed that I can't get in the gym. I can only see it from here. There's also a patio here. Oh, but it's wet right now. And the bedroom. It's carpeted. And then you can come to the bedroom, oh no, bathroom here. And it's with a tub. I think this one looks like a very typical apartment layout. Um, like, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. And a living room is really spacious. I don't know if it looks like that in the camera, but it's actually really big. I think probably the biggest like out of the ones I toured today. This one is also on the like pricier side because it's really big, so. Not sure about this. That concludes all my tours today. I toured one, two, three, four, five, five buildings. I think I will probably still continue to look at more because I don't think I've found a perfect one today. I'm so hungry. I didn't eat lunch. Thank God there is an in and out here. I scheduled a floating therapy, and it's the first time I'm trying it, I'm really excited. Here is the floating pod, and there are a lot of 
buttons on the side. Um, they also give towels and earplugs and a showering place. I didn't know it would be like a whole room to myself, so I even brought swimming suits. I'm inside the pod now and the music has just started. It's salt water, so it feels a little interesting. And also it's heated, so you don't feel cold inside. But yeah, I'm gonna start my float. Oh, you can hear the music. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Um, forgive me that my makeup is messed up and my hair is all wet. I don't even know if they have hair dryer. I might just need to go home like this. But um, basically the first 10 minutes that I went in floating, I was a little bit uncomfortable because like the salt water is like really really high concentration. So when I accidentally got a little bit of water inside my eyes, it hurts so much. And also like the parts on my body that might have a little bit like wounds and anything, it hurts a lot too. I was just like feeling a lot of pain like the first 10 minutes I got in. But after that, I got used to it. So um, I think the, the latter half of the flow was a lot better. I felt really comfortable and I, I probably did fall asleep. I'm not sure right now if I will want to come back again because I feel like it does make me relax, but like maybe going to a massage or other activities will uh, make me relax as well. Literally, it's all salt on my forehead. This is insane. Okay, so I think my vlog is going to end here. Um, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below which apartment you like best. Um, I'll see you in my next